What's up guys, welcome back to Self Made. I am Grant Thompson. And Chris Crone. Today in this video we wanted to share with you some of the three most powerful things you can do to build subscribers on your brand new YouTube channel. And if you are brand new and just starting out, these are the three things to do. And I'm gonna tell you, this is content you're probably not finding anywhere else because Grant invented it that got him up to that $10 million number. All right, hey everybody, welcome back to Self Made. Chris Crone. Grant Thompson, the King of Random. And today we're gonna to be talking about how do you actually blow up your channel with subscribers. Grant, this is one of the biggest things that will lead to whether it's AdSense monetization or just getting your name out there. I, we as YouTubers, we're always judging ourselves by how many subscribers that we do have. So you've been on this whole journey to get up to nearly now 10 million subscribers and you're gonna blow through that. But what did you do to, that really impacted your subscriber base. Yeah, uh, first of all, it is really true, Chris. Like everybody measures their YouTube self-worth by how many subscribers they have. It's almost like the speedometer or the mileage indicator on your on your vehicle, how far you've gone is how many subscribers you have. Now, what's really funny about that is I guess there's a whole other aspect as, you know, to why subscribers aren't the thing you need to be focusing on. But in this video, we want to tell you how do you build up your subscriber base? And I'm going to speak from personal experience on how I've done that. When I started doing my YouTube videos seven years ago, you know, first it was just kind of for fun. It was a hobby. I was throwing stuff out there. And the funny thing is, every time someone would subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would get an email notification saying somebody's subscribed to you. And these emails started coming in because I had a video up there where I was starting a, a fire with a water bottle. Interesting content that started getting shared around. People started subscribing to my channel. Every day I'd get these email notifications, somebody subscribed, and that really ticked me off. Hey, I was, dude, you're gonna have to explain why you were upset about getting subscribers. Well, think about this. I, I wasn't in it to be a YouTuber. I wasn't making videos because I wanted people to subscribe to me. I didn't even know what subscribing meant. All I saw was I was getting clutter in my inbox every day that I was having I'm to filter so out. I'm so mad. I've got all of these emails with these people that won't leave me alone. That's right. Now, it was only like, it was only seven to 10 to 15 subscribers. So there weren't a lot, but they were trickling in. And I eventually went into the YouTube settings and I turned off notifications because I didn't care if people were subscribing. It didn't mean anything to me. Now, fast forward two years from there, I realized YouTube was a viable source for making an income. Now I wanted subscribers. Now, I started creating content I thought would do really well, would, would convert and bring an audience. I was sharing my passion, putting my heart and soul into it, and sometimes spending 100 to 200 hours producing one of these videos. And I would put up a video and nobody would watch it. It would seriously get maybe 100 views, and that was like my mom and my brothers and everybody that watched it on Facebook from the link that I posted. Um, so I didn't feel like my content was being validated. So there are a few tricks that I learned, a lot of experiments that I tried. I'm gonna list a few of them in this video for you today, as many as I can think of, awesome. of, of how do we go from those 14 annoying email subscribers that I didn't want to over nine million subscribers that I very much value and care about and would love more of. Okay, okay. dude, so we're gonna start right now. Start us off with strategy number one for boosting your subscriber base. Okay, so if I were to go back and I had zero subscribers, obviously the very first thing that I would do is go to the people that I, I know and care about. You know, that's your Facebook friends, that's any other social media, that's your mom, that's your dad, your brothers, your sisters. Go tell them you have a YouTube channel, ask them to subscribe. That'll get you, you know, depending on your situation, your first 20 subscribers to maybe 100 subscribers. That's just enough to make you feel like you've got a cause worth making videos for. Okay, so pause. So I want to be really clear. Instead of just waiting for it to organically happen on YouTube, you're manually going out there and inviting mm. people. Check out what I'm doing, be a part of it, please hit the subscribe and that's what you would do first. Yeah, well if you think about it, there's over a billion hours of YouTube being consumed a day on YouTube. Over a billion hours per day, what are the chances that your new video is gonna be seen by anybody? I think the, the biggest thing that you can realize about YouTube is YouTube is not gonna make you famous. They're not gonna reach out and say, you're awesome, you know, come be a rock star. What you're gonna have to do is create yourself. You know, that's the whole idea of self-made, is you gotta make a product that you're proud of and you gotta find ways to promote it yourself. So use off-platform resources like other social media, classified ads if you have a product you wanna to drive to, and your friends and family, okay? Boom, okay, so that's number one, that's just when you're getting started, but let's say now that you've done that, okay. you're out there, you've gotten started, you've gone back, you did that strategy, what's the next aggressive strategy? The second thing that I would highly recommend doing is writing articles about your content on other websites. Now for me, I, I frequented websites like wonderhowto, instructables.com, because those were DIY project-based websites where I could get ideas for experiments. And I also noticed a lot of people were writing articles and every now and then they'd have a featured creator posted on the front page. So every time I made a new video, I took about three hours and I wrote an article, step-by-step -step instructions on how to do my video. And I also put a link to the video itself in the article. 
and very consistently committed to this idea that every week I'd have a new article. Now, Wonder How To and Instructables, they noticed this. This was good, really valuable content that I was producing for free for them. It was very easy for them to circle back and say, hey, do you mind if we take your article and feature it on the front page? Or blast it out in our email to our 50,000 subscribers. And I said yes all day long because everyone who clicked on that article, the very first step was step one, watch the video. And when people would click that to watch the video, my views went up and my subscribers started going up as well. And so by using Wonder How To and Instructables, I went from that couple hundred subscribers to 50,000 subscribers in about five or six months. So think about that for just a second. In a five or six month period of time, getting 50,000 subscribers, and again, using off-platform ways, not waiting for the momentum of YouTube to hit, but first, it's, I'm gonna get my word out there through, and my videos out there through a lot of other unconventional means. And so that's done some huge things for you. Yep. What, what's the third thing? And, and, and we're gonna break this off. We're gonna do a part two video here. But just for this video, let's mm -hmm. give them one more thing that they could do. Where do you go from there as far as doing your next boost of subscribership? Cool. Before I jump into that, I just wanna circle back on this last thing. I just wanna mention it's really important to find websites that you resonate with. The, the websites you're naturally going to or have huge audiences that are following them, those are the ones that you wanna see how you can get in and basically do their job for them for free and do it so well that they take notice of it and they want to feature you. Okay, by the way, okay. that was the golden nugget right there. Do their job for them, produce content the way they're asked to by their publishers, by their employers, and all of a sudden, you get to be the hero and you get the credit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and if you want to know what kind of content they like, look what they're putting on the front page. And if you can kind of rework your content to match the kind of stuff they're already promoting, it'll be a very natural transition for them to take your work and give you some promotion, some exposure as well. Awesome, let's give them one more today, Grant. One more thing that they can do, and let's save the juicy stuff for this next video that we're gonna be popping out right after. Okay, so the next step, you know, if you're starting off and you don't have a whole lot of subscribers, here's the next thing I wanna recommend. I honestly think one of the best things that you can do for validation and gaining subscribers are collaborations with other YouTubers. I mean, this is such a, a great way of validating and connecting and growing your subscriber base is finding people who are very similar to the way that you think. Who are the YouTubers out there whose videos you watch? Who are the YouTubers that pop up and you follow? And I think it's very important to realize that as long as you can create some kind of a value, you can really work with anybody. You know, if there's a, a top level YouTuber, you may have to pay them a large amount of money, but they will work with you for some price. Uh, if you don't have money, but you have time and experience or some kind of value you can add, you, you find where that value trades off. If you don't have any of that and you're just starting off from the very beginning, look for other YouTubers doing what you're doing that have similar subscriber bases to, to what you have. If you've got one or 200 subscribers, look for other collaborators who have one or 200 subscribers. Wow. And you work with each other, you build off each other. What it's doing is it's validating you working together, showing other personalities, other dynamics in the video, and very slowly you will start sharing audiences. And then you'll have 400 subscribers, and you can start looking for people who have 400 subscribers and collaborate with them. And this starts building inventory of really good content and overlapping audiences, and you just kind of work yourself up level by level until you're up in the thousands, the tens of thousands, the hundreds of thousands, and ultimately the millions. And, and I wanna just add one little bonus on top of what Grant just said, because one of the things that I've been doing on one of my other channels is I've been doing shout outs to other people, other YouTubers and creators that are sidelined with me, and I've been giving them the credit and I've been thanking them for the information. I've been even linking to their videos, and I just had one of them come back and say, hey, why don't we go ahead and do a collaborative together? Mm -hmm. Because they've been reaching back out and saying, thank you for shouting out for me. Thank you for promoting my videos. Thank you for pushing me. And so that collaborative idea, that's, that's beautiful. Now, Grant, I know that you have got this mega awesome idea that you really use to just shoot your channel through the roof. We're gonna save that for the very next video, but I wanna thank you, Grant, for sharing with all of us here at Self Made today three amazing strategies that when you're brand new, how do you start building your subscriber base? That's right, and a quick recap on those. Number one, go to your warm audience that already loves you and cares about you. Number two, start sharing your uh, articles online to websites that resonate with your videos. And number three, collaborate with people who are kind of in your similar vein. Boom guys, we're gonna catch you on the next one. See you there. So there you have it guys, those are the three things to get you started building a YouTube audience. And I just wanted to mention, the more you collaborate with others, the more you're gonna learn different techniques. And the sooner you can learn how other people work, it's gonna give you a whole arsenal, a very powerful outlook and mindset on the rest of your YouTube building career. Now you're gonna to wanna to join us for the next video because Grant's gonna get more now into the advanced and in-depth how you, and actually how he in a very short period of time actually doubled his significant subscribership. You're in not gonna to wanna miss it. 
Yeah. Did it in just a two week period two of time? Period. Dude, that is freaking yeah. awesome. So we've got that video coming your way. And just one last reminder, subscribe, ring the bell, and click the link if you want some specific hand holding from us and our team to walk you through how to launch the most successful YouTube channel that you can. And as always, if you're interested in learning how to make videos from home, doing things that you love and making a career out of it, we have a link down in the description or in the card up here that you can click to go learn how to do it for yourself using the systems that we've put together. See you there.